members of shadow garden and their occupation from enemy stats that's right it's time to farm this guy's channel again please like his videos sub to his videos if you enjoy them first of all let's see sid kagano does he have an occupation i thought sid's just a student right he is the founder and ideological inspiration of the organization eminence in uh the shadow garden that is true he is the founder i just He's just so hands off of the organization. I'm like, hold up. Does he even have an occupation here? Technically, it's like founder. Technically, it's like shit on students sometimes now with the piano stuff. And now he's just like a fucking student at school. Next up, you got Alpha, number one, right hand of Shadow and second in command of the Garden. The founding member. <laughs> I love how it says founding member here. Like this is, I mean, this is a company. It is a company. Beta. Let's see it. Information gatherer and squad leader for important mission. Her occupation is nuts me though, right? So when they say Shadow Garden and their occupations, I was expecting like their, their their alter ego personas in real life, right? So Beta is actually Natsumi, the author, right? Surprised that he didn't um, list that detail here. And I, and and then what does Alpha do? If Beta is Natsumi and if like Epsilon is like Shiron, the master counter pianist. What does Alpha do? Does she have a separate occupation? I don't think she does, right? Yeah, Al yeah Alpha? <laughs> Delta secret identity? <laughs> Delta is just a pet. Del 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 Delta is a, just a house pet and a mascot, okay? Gamma, head of the Mitsugoshi group, responsible for securing the funds for the Shadow Garden. That's right. Mitsugoshi not only has their hands deep in, what's it called? We have like, we're, we're in the chocolate industry, right? We got some luxury goods. We got like um, lingerie, some, some like, what's it called? Luxury clothing, right? Underwear. We got like business attire now. We're even bringing modern business attire from Japan to, you know, ancient medieval Japan whenever Eminence and Shadow is being held. What else is there? They're also in, they got their hands deep in like the, the, what's it called? The housing bubble, right? There was a whole, they bought up a shitload of land. So Mitsugoshi is basically just the, super org that just runs everything and secretly shadow gardens behind mitsugoshi and gamma is the one that leads everything without gamma none of this could be possible that's why gamma i think deserves so much more respect delta <laughs> main fighting force the shadow garden yeah i mean does she have an occupation house dog she's not even a house dog she likes to be outside a lot <laughs> yeah she's the main force of the shadow garden epsilon leader of espionage and expert infiltrator so i guess like um when anime stats said that this is their occupations rather than their alter egos occupations or differently you know, what they do as non-shadow garden members of society this is more like shadow garden members and their roles right so she's the leader of espionage and expert infiltrator but technically she's also shiron who is the master concert pianist because she's a pianist i love that word pianist right because she is such a well-received pianist and an artist in the world people recognize her and it gives her like networking capabilities that helps her in her espionage like the fact that we were able to get into lord perv assets domain right sid was about to use his flash step and then epsilon came in and then they're like yo it's it's me she don't let me in and they're like ah oh, sick cool right it's pretty cool that epsilon can do that same with beta that's right, they are rivals after all. They use their, their prestige and their author or pianist, you know, clout to, to get in. Now we got Zeta. She is the head of exploration and specializes in reconnaissance. I always was a bit confused about this because it almost sounds similar to Epsilon. Like, what is the difference between... Well, well exploration implies you're, like, discovering new things. Reconnaissance is more like spy, espionage kind of stuff, you know, right? But Zeta is so talented and gifted that she just basically goes on by herself and does scouting different lands. I'm not really sure. They don't really give us more of Zeta and what she really does. Also, about her backstory with Victoria. How are they friends in the beginning? Who knows? Ada, Shadow Garden's chief engineer, head of research and development. Ada exists because, like... She's kind of a bullshit character in the sense that she's like Kusudi from 100 Girlfriends. These are like the science girls that enable so much more of the show. They'll just come up with bullshit exp like um, experimentations and they'll just innovate and just create tech or like 
create drugs that let you do anything, right? So when I say bullshit character, I don't mean that I hate them. I'm just saying they just let you do anything you want because of their research and development, which I think is a really good thing. It really just like makes the show more flexible if you have more characters, um, I don't know, be able to do stuff like this. Next one, we got Lambda, Shadow Garden's drill instructor. She, that's right. We're finally done with the founding members. These are now number 8 to 25. Lambda, Shadow Garden's drill instructor. Uh, nothing more. Don't know why that she still like closes her eye, right? Look at that. She always closes her right eye. Technically, she opens it in one of the endings, I think, of the visuals. But interesting that she always does this. Next one, we got New. New is Gamma's personal bodyguard and Shadow Garden's interrogation specialist. That's right. It is interesting that some of the unnamed numbers will, oh, sorry, the name numbers will have a direct, uh, they report directly to someone, right? So like Victoria, for example, technically she's unnamed, but she like directs report, like reports to Epsilon. Nue is specifically for Gamma, right? I think Omega and Kai are specifically for Epsilon as well, right? Then we got Omega, direct subordinate of Epsilon. And let me guess, Kai is also going to be, yep, direct subordinate of Epsilon. I don't know why. Also, I wonder what this mark here is from Omega. But like these two characters, they like, um, they're always together. But I never, we don't know why. They were probably like childhood friends. Did they get rescued together? Who knows? I'm sure maybe the Master of Garden or the, the manga or the light novel goes a little bit more detail about these two. But yeah, they're always together, huh? Interesting that they're both number 24 and 26, but it's not 25. I thought they'd be like right in between if they're always together, but they got 25 missing. Next up, we got 559. And now we're going to stray from name number to regular member, meaning they're like an unnamed number, which is like number 26 to 666. Victoria, member of... Uh, should I read this? Okay, wait, wait. Should I read this, guys? Tell me in chat right now if I read this right now. Okay, I, I, I peeked at it. I can read this. Member of Zeta's secret sub-faction. A Zeta's right-hand woman. Now, I don't know what that kind of means. But okay, she's right-hand woman. Next, we got 664. We don't know 664 or 665's names. What are their fucking names? Like, I love 665 the most. Princess Rose, Oriana's bodyguard. Princess Rose, Oriana's bodyguard. I would have never guessed them to be their bodyguard because like 664 is always bossing Oriana around. So I'm like, huh? What's going on here? But okay, they're just specific bodyguards for Oriana. I love 665 so much because she's always eating food and she's always chill. But then 664 is always like so angry, right? She's always so, she's not angry. She's just bossy and she's kind of like a control freak. So if there was a leader in this group, I'd be inclined to say Rose Oriana, but... I'm just going to say 664 because, I don't know, she just feels like the bossy type, right? And then we got number 666. She is the, another, spo another spoiler? Spoiler? All right, I'm not going to read it then. Is that it? Sometimes these anime stats videos, they're a little sussy because there are some spoilers. But the good news for me is that I forget a lot of details and I'm pretty good at ignoring things. Again... Please go like anime stats videos if you like them and subscribe to his channel. He's got a lot of infographic on many different topics, not just Eminence and Shadow. Even series like Reincarnate as a Slime and Overlord that we might start watching pretty soon on this channel. But that's it for me.